Hey, it's Meher, and we are just taking a look at the 2019 Kia Stinger. This is actually a 19. The 2018s were, I don't know, they were, they were at least what? About a year ago, roughly, it's been a year, and they have just been flying off the lot. The 2019 has now been released with a two liter turbo. So the original Kia Stinger came with a 3.3 liter V6 twin turbo. This one here is called the Stinger GT Line. This one is equipped with a two liter turbo engine. So just a bit smaller down there. And the biggest difference is the little bit of space that you see between here, pop that cover back on. Now the 3.3 liter V6 vehicle just have, obviously with the bigger engine takes up the full space in there. Uh, smaller, it's nice. I want to take a look at how it actually drives. Still needs to go through a bit of a, oh, there's a bug. Ah! Uh, still needs to go, okay, enough. Okay, still needs to go through a bit of an inspection in the shop. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get that cleaned up. We're gonna install a block heater on this because let's face it, we are in Alberta. You gotta make sure that if you're driving a vehicle in Alberta, it has a block heater. Um, the vehicle is unlocked. Take a look, here are the keys. If you haven't seen the Stinger key before, it is a unique design, unlike the other Kia keys. Block button on the top. Uh, but with the keyless entry, that little black button right there, locks and unlocks the vehicle. On the doors, uh, this is the GT line, so a little bit of a, uh, I don't wanna say base model, but well equipped for uh, the lower of the three Stinger models. Black gloss trim, a little bit of dirt, gotta get it cleaned up. But of course, black plush, leather, premium leather seats. These are power adjusted seats, take a look there. Oh, what else do we got? Controls right there, these for your blind spot detection. Let's just hop in. Ooh, turn that on. So a bit of a lighter sound, a bit of a lighter sound compared to the 3.3 liter. Turn off the fans. Turn fuse switch off. Oh yeah, we still have to do that. Ooh. Paddle shifters. So on the steering wheel, on the left hand side, we've got controls for, uh, I guess, volume up, volume down. These are for your Bluetooth, audio, hands-free communications. Left hand side here, you got your paddle shifter down there. Same thing on the right, but on the right, you've got controls for cruise control. And I guess these little buttons here are gonna control that center menu. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, it does. Drive to display, oh yeah, tire pressure. I'm gonna play around with this a little bit later, but the biggest addition, I guess, right now, GT Line. That is beautiful. I love that new logo. Uh, it is a 2019, so it is equipped with UVO Intelligence. There are the buttons for that. That is the Kia Telematic software system. You can start and lock and do stuff with your car, with your phone, with the mobile app. It's a bit of a smaller screen. This is a smaller screen compared to uh, the 3.3 liter V6 model. I'm gonna see if I can get a comparison one day, side by side, but smaller screen there. It is still touch screen. Oh, horrible. Oh, horrible sound. Controls for buttons, media, all down there. No built-in navigation in this particular vehicle, so that's, I guess, a little bit of a downside, but with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you have navigations mirrored from your phone. Wireless charging, oh hey, great feature right there. Got a lot of wireless charging. The 12 volt USB inputs. This is, oh, hey, look, it's a normal shift knob. Ooh, hey, that's different. Okay, so in the 3.3 liter V6, the shift knob is actually, um, it's an electronic shift knob. This one, you've seen me just do it. You shift it, uh, it it's not electronic. That's good, that's, that's something I didn't know about this one. Uh, electronic park brake, drive modes. Ooh, take a look at the drive modes. The drive mode, you can select it up here. You can go custom mode, eco mode, sport mode, comfort mode just gives you a bit of a control over how the vehicle handles, uh, changes gears, adjusts your steering, that kind of stuff. Um, heated seats are, of course, there for driver and passenger. Heated steering wheel. Ooh, the auto fold button. That's a new feature. What else? There's not much really I can show you. I mean, the Stinger itself, it's a beautiful vehicle, very spacious in the back uh, for passengers. It is getting kind of hot in this car, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Turn that off. Um, I guess center console storage and uh, user manuals. Now let's just take a quick look around. I mean, so that is just the vehicle side to side, front to back. The hood is still popped. Uh, one thing that I haven't shown you guys on this video yet is just take a quick look at the rear hatch. So make sure that's unlocked. 
It is not a power hatch, just like the 3.3 liter V6 version are. It's a power hatch, this one is not. But same design in the sense that it has a heck of a lot more space. And uh, what's under here should be, ah uh, yes, spare tire and tools. Cool. Not a bad car. I'm highly impressed with this. For 2019 Kia Stinger, that is a, uh, that's a, it's a great car. Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. Oh, hey, look, a gray one. Ooh, this one is, oh no, see, this is the GT Limited. Okay, you know what? Now that we actually have a GT Limited, uh, the 2019 GT Limited has a couple different features than what you did not see. First and foremost, let me take a look at under the hood. I can't believe I had two side by side. Did not even plan that. Okay, one-handed. There it is. Ooh, look at the size of that engine. So that is the 3.3 liter V6. Let me just pop the hood of this one again. And that's your two liter turbo. So smaller size. Look at that big power. Oh, I wish I had the key so we can start this one up. Okay, so as you can see, obviously, obviously difference with this one, red leather. The GT Limited is available with a red leather trim. A uh, couple more fancy features, so on the door itself, satin kind of finish, but memory power seats. Of course, it's not going to work, it's off. Uh, but still power adjustable with the driver's seat. Controls here, blind spot detection, uh, lane keep assist, those are additional features that you do get in here. What you can see on the front of this vehicle, and it's not on the other, is that little module. That's for the autonomous emergency braking, plus you also have a 360 degree camera system. That kind of goes hand in hand with uh, the rest of the safety tech on this. Bigger screen, so different style design of screen. Home link is installed on this vehicle so you can control your, uh, your garage door opener. Built-in navigation right there, so the SD card is in there. Same tech feature down there, but this, this is the difference, okay? The electronic shift knob. That's how you shift into park, but it's electronic. There's there's no actual like shifting of a physical stick. It's, it's a computer sensor compared to the other one where, well, you, you saw me shift. Same sort of thing with drive modes. You do get air-cooled ventilated seats for the driver and passenger, which is a great feature. And as I mentioned, with a 360-degree camera system, there's that view button in the middle. Um, oh, sunroof. Hey, the other one didn't have it. So you can't see it because it is covered by the cloth and you can't really see it on the top because, well, it's so seamlessly integrated into the design. But that is a big sunroof and that one definitely does not have it, which is good to know for this model. Okay, you know what? That's, a, that's where I'm just going to wrap things up. I, I wasn't planning on doing this. I'm going to wrap things up. I am thinking about taking this for a drive, so I'm gonna go see if we can cast it up and do that right away. That's a quick look at the 2019 GT line. Like, I can't believe it's already here, 2019 Stinger.